had been in church with anybody. And let me be very clear, Mr. Speaker, not that it would have not that it would have made any difference if he went to any church with anybody, including with Senator Sifuna or Senator Hamida. The point is, it would not have reduced the magnitude of the massacre that has happened in Kilifi, Mr. Speaker. And I hope when, Mr. Also, Speaker, we retreat Senator, from today's debate, Senator, Senator Mazayo, who is Senator deeply affected, order, this order, being order, a massacre order, that order, has happened order, in his order, county, order, will sit down his political side of the divine, Mr. Speaker, and talk to them about taking issues more seriously, especially when they are touching on lives and loss of lives of many Kenyans, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the tragic incidents, Mr. Speaker, has caused loss of life, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Order, it is Allow shocking, Mr. Mr. Speaker, that as a society, Mr. Hard. Speaker, there was no detection and lives were lost, Mr. Speaker. I have asked myself many questions, Mr. Speaker. Was there no community, Mr. Speaker, around Shakahola village in Kilifi County? Was there no chief? Was there no security intelligence to detect? Mr. Speaker, how does one person die? The sixth person, the tenth person, the eighteenth person, Mr. Speaker? Is this the kind of society that we have nurtured for our generations and for ourselves, Mr. Speaker? I want to say this, Mr. Speaker. Criminal activity is criminal activity. Mackenzie, Mr. Speaker, has entered into a different realm that cannot be called religion, Mr. Speaker. He has traversed, Mr. Speaker, into egregious violations of human rights, Mr. Speaker. If his case has to be handled, Mr. Speaker, then it has to be handled with the seriousness that it deserves, Mr. Speaker, and we sympathize with the hearts and the victim, uh, the hearts and the families of all the victims, Mr. Speaker, who have lost their lives in Kilifi. And I want to say, Mr. Speaker, the church, which has been conducting its affairs within its spiritual mandate and legal mandate, Mr. Speaker, must not now be put to defense on account of uh, Mackenzie's evil schemes and criminal activity, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, I wish to be informed. Yes. Uh, Senator Veronica, Senator, resume your seat, Senator Veronica. Senator Veronica, take your seat. Honorable members, this is a very serious motion that we are discussing. Let us be sober for one moment. This is a serious motion. Senator Mandago. I had remember members, I had indicated there were five senators who had submitted statements and had been a 